You leave Calico right now and never come back, you lying, sweaty, lecherous, potty-mouthed, flatulent, ugly mustache creep! You ungrateful swine! What's going on, guys? Jurassic here. Today we're back to Evil West. I'll look for an alternative. Still not willing to go for a ride? It's the fastest way. Wonder why he won't ever come with us. They could have easily had this a jubilee game if they had just had that guy follow us around the whole time. All right, there we go. Should move us to the left. This way. Now it's kind of weird that he never actually comes with us. Considering the fact that he's afraid to fight everything in the world, and there's like mutated zombie things all over the place. He's clearly taking the smarter path. Hell yeah! And that means we're just doing all this unnecessary work for no reason. But good news is we took a minecart and it looks like it gave us a pretty big shortcut. First class ride. Right into the werewolf. No, we can't. Is it dropping snowballs at us? There's one up there just throwing snow. explain that in the lore. So maybe it's howling and it's causing snow to fall or something? Or is that not a werewolf? Maybe that's a spider. Oh, the werewolf at first. Now it looks more like a spider. Considering the fact that we keep getting spider webbed. shoots the lasers out of his eyeballs first. Right, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll deal with him first. Alright, there we go. He is defeated. with little small guys piece of cake Whew, that wasn't too bad we've been here 16 months now and we are making progress the harsh weather here has helped to accelerate the process the lightning strikes have been helping us in our ongoing efforts to harness electricity 
Soon, we will be able to use it as a weapon against our enemies. Such technology will give us the upper hand at last. Stay strong. Keep the faith. The future is nearly upon us. Any you just happen to get here? Are they gone? For now. That doesn't look like it's working. All it needs is power. I was just about to turn on the generator over there when they appeared. Yeah, I'm on it. Keep your head down. So, I mean, he would still be the one that has to do it because he knows what to actually turn on. Almost there. Gotta get to that other switch. Hope the lights won't wake those beasts up. I completely forgot this is a thing in the game. All right. I'm afraid one tower can't deliver enough power to the reservoir. I think it's safe to say you'll need to power up those over there too. Let's get to it then. Run to the walkway and I'll clear the way ahead. All right, well, that seems pretty simple. All right, so let's see. If that little pole wasn't there to show us that we could go up, I would have never guessed that. Mr. Jesse, this way. Oh, shit. Birch, you okay? That was close, Mr. Jesse, but I found a tunnel that might lead to the mines. Keep moving. It probably connects up with the main lab. Do me a favor, though. Try not to get killed. All right, so it looks like he's going to be on his own path, and we get to go through the spiders. Is it only spiders that we got to deal with? This is another one of those games that was actually super cool. But sort of got stuck at work and never could actually get back to it. That's why we ended up making it a series on the channel. And I will have the playlist linked. That way you can watch it from start to back. Unfortunately, the live stream won't be as edited as these videos, but you'll still be able to keep up with the story if you guys are curious. I do not remember what Howling does in this game. But, <laughs> doing pretty good. Level 13. Gotta squeeze. I believe level 14 is the max level. And I upgraded our health and everything already, so I think we're pretty close to what kind of build I would actually be going for here. All right, so this is going to be one of those things where we got to get all the way up top. Can we just climb up here. Mm, no power. But we should be able to. I'm assuming we had to do that to like activate it. And then just climb up, right? Okay, so that's one of the halves done. We might be able to run all the way over here to this other guy. Seems the other one is up there somewhere. All right, so hold on. So if we push this, right? There we go. So now we should be able to push the cart over to the other side, hop up on top, and then be able to turn the generator on. I keep waiting for like enemies or something to pop up because normally this game isn't that nice. All right, so if we hop up here. Quite a crazy little setup you have here, boys. 
turn do this. Gotcha. Now, I don't think they actually said it, but I wonder if we get like those charged up abilities. Will we be able to have our abilities recharge super fast in a fight? More money. All right, so that'll clear the path for us. And now we just hopped up. All right, so we freed the rocks to move the card over to this side, which I guess eventually we're going to have to get to the tower. Oh, this could come so that gets us the rope. Now we come back over to the ledge and then we should be able to use a grappling hook, make a rope all the way across the other side. Now we're good. See, it was all part of the plan. All right, so just watch out for falling rocks. That's pretty damn steep. I mean, considering where you've been this entire game, I don't think you should be too worried, buddy. We started off the game pretty steep. Now, <laughs> making big gigantic holes like that, you might need to be a little bit more scared. Shit. I can see why they don't get many tourists around here. Watch your step. We should be fine. Nice. Alright. All part of the plan. So now that we made it up top. If we keep track of which one's actually shooting, they all die almost immediately. Come on, one of you wants to shoot. I know it. We'll take you down. <laughs> it won't do it. Oh, All right, we might just have to bypass this hole. There we go. Oh, it killed it? Wasn't us, but. Should do. Stay focused on the big one. Worry about the little one in a second. It's kind of funny. I remember when these guys were like the toughest boss when we first started going against them. Now, I kind of like them because they always guaranteed to give you help. As long as you, you know, have enough shots. Crossbow was definitely a game changer. Could just be that we're much stronger now, too. Yeah. All right, so we get over here to this other side, we'll be able to get the help. That's what we need. Shit, 
Come on, stay focused. And... Bombs are about halfway recharged or so. That's about halfway dead as well. This is another one of those games that just sort of came out of nowhere, like half high rush. Alright, so we'll get you taken care of. Gotta watch where we're walking. All right, so that's not good. The werewolves now have the howling buff, which I now remember what it does. Makes them stronger for a short period of time. For some reason, I was sitting there thinking that it like called more in, but that makes much more sense now. All right, something's got to give here. We are running. Where do we run? It's a little bit more manageable. Well, I think this is one of the few games where the werewolves actually work with the vampires. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> oh, damn it. Come on, buddy. You know you want to just die. Hey, werewolves. Delta with vampires, we are good to go. I assume we were supposed to do that. Didn't exactly look like the best strategy though, right before we cross the bridge. Alright, so let's see here. What's our step? No. Obviously, we originally had this technology to upgrade our gloves, so I'm kind of surprised the person who first made it. I guess maybe it was stronger beforehand and it got weaker as time went on, so that's why we're having to come back. It's not really an upgrade, it's mostly just a repair thing. That's how I'm seeing it, at least. March 1887. Gentlemen, the latest gauntlet tests have been very encouraging. And I appreciate your hard work and dedication to the cause. However, I must insist we continue to put a high priority on security. Under no circumstances should tests be performed in the field. Everything must be kept top secret. Our enemies must not see the fruits of our research until we can wield it against them. Otherwise, we risk exposing ourselves to great danger. The safety of the entire world is at stake. But you heard it. All right, so let's see. I mean, I don't think anyone else is going to be able to compete with the gear that we have. It is kind of weird though. We had like an entire league that was all trained to do exactly what we're doing, yet we're the only ones doing it.
All right, so we're going to go the long way around because I'm assuming this is the right way to go. All right, so that takes us over to the light areas here. Now... So that'll be the first one. Power it up. About half the way done so far. Let's go. All right, number two, just in the nick of time. Well, ain't that a pretty sight to see? Pretty simple objective. Just reach the reservoir. Jesus. I think I'm starting to develop a fear of heights. Hmm. Alright, so it might be a little bit far down. Plan though is not to fall. I don't think I'd be near as confident taking all these zip lines. Oh, can I? You cannot go in there? I like those things. As long as you're paying attention, you can basically one-shot them. Little bandana is starting to grow, I think. Maybe it's the wind. Alright, so let's see here. Make my way up to the top of this. I'm still assuming that we're going to have to fight a Lilith eventually. Mr. Jesse! Over here! Let me guess. Ain't working? The whole damn thing froze up! Holy hell! We've got company! You do your magic. I'll take care of these guys. <laughs> Spin off the monsters. Well, that didn't work. That was painful. We got two beasts to go with once again. Weapon, the crossbow or the long gun. Theoretically, the long gun should do much more damage. There we go. <laughs> I 
coming down here. Just enough bullets. Focus on the vampire. I'll deal with the mole in a second because he's going to keep on hiding at us. We'd be able to take it. Whew. All right, so he is dealt with. You got this thing working yet? Of course it does. No shit, genius. Let's go. Long way up. Um, thought agents first, Mr. Jesse. Yeah, yeah. Better safe than sorry. Seems safe. <laughs>
upgrade is now available. January Belt 2, the gauntlet allows you for creating damage blasts every couple of attacks. Ooh. Nice, and that's automatically applied. Kill all of them. I'm not worried about your little house. However, we can handle this. If anyone's curious how we keep healing, we have a new perk, which allows us to heal every time we fill up a bar. I didn't realize that we were going to be able to have a bar every couple seconds, but that actually improved quite a bit. some of them at least one of the vampires should be pretty close to dead a lot of the werewolves though are super easy <laughs> I 
think we're getting pretty close to this one. in a second. All right, well, that little ground slam definitely seems to be like a main center focus of the game, which I'm guessing that's why. Oh, God, we had flamethrowers. twice there. I meant to only do it once. There it goes. Now to let me jump. We make a marvelous team, you and me, Mr. Jesse, with my brains and your. That didn't come out right. Red's here. So glad to see you back. All cried out from Daddy's funeral. Made peace with the fact that you never told him how much you loved him. Oh wait, you didn't do any of that because William isn't dead. Instead. You and your band of grade-A chuckle fucks let the leader of America's goddamn vampire hunting agency turn into a goddamn vampire! Mr. Secretary, sir, if it weren't for Director Rentier, we never would have found Felicity and... Isn't that just fuckity great? Then I can assume you've got her severed head hidden behind your wiry dead ferret of a frame! Secretary Harrow. Dr. Blackwell. I can't believe I'm saying this. But as of right now, you are the fucking director of the soon-to-be-renamed Rentier Institute, with all the perks and privileges entitled therein. But for now, I want you to lock these sons of bitches up for high treason. And after that, you're gonna squeeze every bit of vital information out of the tick that's currently inhabiting the carcass of William Rentier. And once you're done, apply your own damn protocols and put a bullet in its head like you should have done days ago! Are you having some sort of female moment? I fucking want this fucking done right fucking now! Would you allow me to present a counterproposal? You leave Calico right now and never come back, you lying, sweaty, lecherous, potty-mouthed, flatulent, ugly mustache creep! You ungrateful swine! You sure you want to dance that dance? President Cleveland will know all about this right here. We're having dinner after a sweet-ass musical premiere none of you were invited to because you don't matter! Jesus, I thought I'd shit myself. Amelia, that was... potty mouth? I'm about 90% adrenaline right now, Jesse, so maybe you save your critiques for when my legs stop shaking. Right now, you should go see your father. Alright guys, that's going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.